Uh, yesterday, I, I went through the steps uh, necessary to start a uh, three rocks filer. One here, another one here, and another one here. Uh, because that's very useful to uh, move or copy files in between uh, different uh, uh, folders or partitions in uh, uh, Puppy Linux. So let me just demonstrate. We went through the steps to uh, f uh, trigger uh, three uh, a triple pane with a, a super X key here, as you see here. So here's the root level files and folders. So what we'll do today, we'll uh, create a small bash file that we'll put into my application and bin right here, which will enable uh, a key to trigger that bash file to close all the open uh, application, not only on this workspace, but in other workspaces. So that I find that very useful. For example, you're, if you're running a uh, browser in another uh, uh, workspace and you have multiple tabs and uh, you have a low-performing uh, 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 older uh, computer, it's useful just to shut them all down uh, so and then uh, uh, start refresh. So we'll go ahead and uh, go through the steps. Now I'm going to cheat a little bit and then... Uh, have um, I'm going to copy this uh, uh, small script to a file that we will create and uh, we'll go ahead and start the terminal here and then um, I have uh, uh, put in a uh, what we want to do is we want to start genie which is uh, genie is right here but we want to uh, create a file script script bash file here so close all dot sh so we'll go ahead and uh, and I want to be pl I want to place this in a path so so we'll go ahead and uh, enter and you'll see that uh, the file has been created now I've gotten this uh, uh, small script from Puppy uh, Forum by the username of Mochi Mopel, uh, who, uh, and I find this very very helpful. Now to have this uh, file run properly, though, you have to have a, uh, a window manager control WMCTRL, which almost all the Puppy Linux has already installed. But in just in case, uh, you may want to just uh, go into Puppy Package Manager and just make sure that you do have this installed. So, but simply what I'll do, this is just cheating of cheating, of course, and I'll just copy this into this uh, file that we just created. So I copy that in, uh, and then uh, we're gonna save it. And then now this file has to be uh, what's called the executable. It is, it is uh, re readable and writable, but right now it's not executable. So I want to just bring that file back up and then change the command chmod plus x and space and the file name. Now this file is executable, so uh, we should be pretty much set. If we look at this uh, a little bit more carefully, what it does, and I'm not exactly sure how, uh, uh, what each line means, but this has a great benefit in that it allows, if you're working on another uh, workspace, for example, you're working on a a LibreOffice writer and you haven't finished the last uh, draft this will give you a chance to remind yourself and also it'll stop the uh, script so you can go ahead and save it before you close uh, all the running applications so I think this is uh, great so we'll go ahead and we saved it and we uh, so let's just go ahead and uh, right now Let's see, we'll, we'll run another 
script here. So we have several running here and we have this. So now it is executable and I can simply start at the terminal and give it a command of close all dash dot sh and let's see if it all uh, closes safely. Okay, now there is one file that is not saved and this is uh, my cheat file so I don't really need it. I just needed that to have all the correct wording in the other uh, uh, the close all uh, sh so we don't need to save it. So let's just uh, so we do get a warning if there was not a, a file that uh, uh, wasn't saved. So let's go back to workspace one and that all three uh, rocks file filer panes are closed. So it behaves uh, uh, as what uh, behaves uh, as expected. So now we'll go through the uh, steps to put it in key binding. So we can quickly check the rocks filer at the root level and uh, my application and then so that's the file that we just created. So we'll just go back out. Now to, uh, to access the uh, key binding uh, uh, file, so we can go ahead and uh, attach the key binding, uh, the close all uh, dash, close dash all dot sh to key binding. What we need to do is edit the file under JWM and personnel. So we'll go ahead and drag this over here and this is actually the file here. So what we need to do is decide on uh, key binding to trigger uh, the uh, uh, that small script. So yesterday we uh, similarly we modified the same file and put in this. So uh, rocks open not at the root, not only root but also the downloads and uh, my uh, data partition uh, so that's why you got three rocks on a screen screen today what we'll do is we'll do uh, something similar and let me just copy this but of course we're going to attach to the uh, small script so we'll just go ahead and make a space and then copy and then <coughs> rather than four. four for example we can use control and shift and x and then we're going to execute the small script so name of the script is closed uh, all and sh and then we're going to save it and then we will go ahead and give it a command of from the terminal we'll start the uh, terminal and we get a uh, we'll go ahead and give it a command of a JWM restart so it will reread the uh, 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 file that we just uh, modified so we'll just go ahead and do that now uh, if uh, key binding is working properly we can simply try it with a control shift and X and I'm going to do that now so it closes those uh, uh, files that uh, we have open. So uh, you'll do that similarly, no matter what other program you opened uh, here, browser or LibreOffice or whatever. So I think I uh, will stop there. I find it very useful in my daily use of the uh, 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 Puppy Linux.